Listen up, everybody. All hell's broken loose. Oh no, this is it. This is the apocalypse. You need to be ready for what's about to happen next. Hey everyone, it's Earth Hour today. So for the next 60 minutes, we're going to be shutting off all our lights and all our electronics to raise awareness about energy consumption. So how much energy do we really use? Well, this much. Quad is short for Quadrillion British Thermal Units, or BTUs. A BTU is about the heat energy released by burning a single wooden match. So every year, it's like we're burning a thousand million million little matches. So let's get started. No worries. We gotta go! Arma getting out of here! Alex, we went over this 45 minutes ago. We're doing Earth Hour. The end of the world is upon us. It's happened before. The New York Times did a whole retro report on this very subject. We are in the midst of what appears to be a colossal and history-making blackout. People trapped in elevators and buildings. They have activated the emergency command center. You're staggering trying to take in as much information as you can. Mayor Bloomberg's advice is to go straight home. The subway system is down. Calm down. They actually improved the grid. It's safer now. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't been safe since the late 1800s. Since the guy who invented the light bulb started electrocuting all the animals. Me and two million other people learned all about it from one of Drunk History's biggest videos starring Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. Edison didn't like the idea of alternating current because he owned all the patents on direct current. He was like, fuck this. And so he started this campaign to prove the alternating current was like the worst current you could use. What he did is he began to like publicly electrocute animals. He was like, taking like sheep and being like, look what happens when the sheep touches the alternating current. Oh, it, blow, it gets electrocuted. But you know, Tesla actually won in the end. That's true. Every single home on the planet today is powered by alternating currents. Do you guys hear something? Do we forget to turn something off? What are you doing? Just trying to make sure we don't go crazy in the silence. Oh god, is that a thing? Oh yeah. Last month, Veritasium's Derek Muller traveled to an anechoic chamber, one of the quietest rooms on Earth, where people have been known to go nuts in under 45 minutes. Anechoic is Latin, it basically means no echo. And the way they achieve no echo is through all of these foam wedges which are put on the walls and even the floor. You can see that I'm actually on a spring floor. A violinist placed in one of these rooms was apparently banging on the door within a matter of seconds trying to get out. And so I'm gonna put myself to the test, and in a second I will tell the guys Shut the lights off. Okay, I think... I wish I could watch the end of this video to see if Derek ends up in the loony bin, but oh no, no power for us! Okay, Alex. Well, there's plenty of stuff we can do to have fun in the dark. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Nope! No! Nope. No, 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 turn the no, lights no, back no. on! This is wrong! I was talking about LED light suits. Roy Soutain made an incredible costume for his daughter Zoe for Halloween last year, and it's gotten over 21 million views. <laughs> No way, we can't be wasting our batteries right now. We need those to throw at intruders. Okay then. Hey, I got an idea. We can tell ghost stories. I know a superb one by Alex Winfrey that only 2,000 people have heard. Ooh. Yeah. In life, I was a cobbler, um, a cherry cobbler, you <laughs> know. I'm just kidding. Uh, I fixed shoes, and then I was murdered and stuffed into a well. It does get very lonely. It's easy for me to get in a negative place, I guess. Uh, but then I usually, um, you know, I just try to fly around really fast and that usually helps me feel better. That wasn't remotely scary. I've got a real ghost story. It's from David Sandberg who won Best Director in the Bloody Cuts Horror Challenge and it's been seen over two million times. There's no way we're watching that. Hey friend, thanks for inflicting our lives with nightmares. Oh come on, I bet Alex liked it. Hey, where's Alex? Oh, by my estimation, it's been about maybe six, I don't know, seven days, no food, no water. At night, the ice weasels keep scratching at the door. Fortunately, Bear Girls posted a video last April on the basics of how to survive in the wild. Successful survival involves four basic principles. Protection, rescue, water, and food. And you see all of the blood coming out of its jugular there. And that really, in an emergency survival situation, is food and life. And really fresh blood like that is so rich in minerals, vitamins, energy, everything you need to survive. Hey, you guys see Alex? No, no. Alex, it's okay. All hell's broken loose. Eat, eat, eat. 
We want in. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go find Alex. All right. Okay. Oh no, this is it. This is the apocalypse. You need to be ready for what's about to happen next. Alex? Ah! Alex, what are you doing in there? Batteries! What? Dude, Earth Hour is over. Earth Hour? Yeah. What's Earth Hour? Seriously? Now play us out, Journey! When the lights 